Mr. Teddy the Teddy Bear is one lucky bear. He gets to do what most bears in the store can only dream about. And that's being loved and adored by a precious little girl or an adorable little boy. Mr. Teddy is Riley's best friend. Everywhere she goes, Mr. Teddy is always right with her. The two have been inseparable since she was a little baby, and today is most definitely no different. Children, since you have been so well behaved all week, how would you like for me to bake you both some chocolate chip cookies? Sure, I would love chocolate chip cookies, Mom. Oh boy, chocolate chip cookies are Mr. Teddy's and my favorite. Riley dances around the room in excitement with Mr. Teddy the teddy bear. Well, first, for me to make them, I need for you two to go to the market for a carton of eggs. But you must hurry, because the market will close soon, and you want to get back home before the rain comes. Their mother warns them both. Okay, but I have to get Mr. Teddy his raincoat. I wouldn't want him to get wet, says Riley. Certainly, you're not going to take that silly stuff bear with us to the market, are you? Ryan asks with a frowned face. Mr. Teddy isn't a stuffed bear. He's my best friend and best friends stick together. So if he can't go, I can't go, Riley yells out. Well, all right. You can bring him. Just make sure you don't lose him, Ryan warns his little sister. Mr. Teddy protects me from monsters when I'm asleep, so I would never lose Mr. Teddy, said Riley. I hope not. We'd better leave right away or else she won't be able to make our chocolate chip cookies and we may get caught in the rain, said Ryan. Ryan Riley and Mr. Teddy the teddy bear begin their journey down the long street that leads to the nearby market. And on their journey, they notice a little lost puppy with its furry little head stuck inside of a log. He must have been searching for something inside the log and then had gotten his fuzzy head trapped inside. Forgetting that their mother had warned them that the market would be closing soon and the rain was coming, Ryan and Riley go over to try and help rescue the little lost puppy to safety. Hey, little puppy, you seem to be stuck and we've come to help get you out, said Ryan. So they pulled and they pulled and they pulled when his furry little head finally popped out of the log. It caused Ryan, Riley, and Mr. Teddy the teddy bear to all fall to the ground. Are you okay, little lost puppy? Asked Riley. Do you have a home? Ryan asked. The little lost puppy had become so frightened of Ryan and Riley that he took off running. And because both Ryan and Riley wanted to help the little lost dog find his home, they took off running after him. Come, Come back, back, little lost, lost puppy. puppy! Come, Come back. back! When they finally found the little lost puppy hiding beneath a large bush near a building, they pleaded for him to come out. Don't be scared, little puppy. We just want to help you find your home, Ryan said. Out of nowhere, Ryan felt one single raindrop fall softly onto his nose. No! Oh no! The rain is about to come, and we still need to get to the market before it closes, said Ryan, panicking. And if the market closes, we won't be able to get eggs for Mom to bake Mr. Teddy's and my favorite chocolate chip cookies, said Riley. Once again, they continued to search for the little puppy in the bushes. As much as Ryan and Riley wanted to help the little lost puppy find his home, they knew they had to hurry before it was too late. Sorry, little puppy, we really don't want to leave you. But if we don't get to the market and home before the rain comes, our mother will be disappointed, said Ryan. 
Ryan quickly gets up and stops Riley from searching. Ryan takes Riley by the hand while she holds on tight to Mr. Teddy the Teddy Bear, and off they run to the market as fast as their legs would go. When they finally arrived at the market, they could barely catch their breath. But it was too late, and the market had just closed. Oh no! What are we gonna do now, Ryan? asked Riley. They pressed their sad faces against the door, hoping to see someone inside. Then they both began to knock, hoping someone would hear them. To their surprise, an older gentleman opened the door. Sorry, children, we are closed. Come back tomorrow, the older gentleman said. Please let my sister and I buy a carton of eggs, sir, so our mother can bake us chocolate chip cookies, Ryan pleaded. And sir, if we don't hurry back home, we're going to get all wet and our mom's going to be very disappointed, Riley. All right, come on in, the older gentleman mumbled. Not seconds after leaving the market, more raindrops began to fall slowly one by one from the sky. They both looked up at the sky. Ryan knew they needed to hurry, and so he held on tight to the paper bag that held the eggs with one hand and used his other hand to pull Riley as she held on tightly to Mr. Teddy the Teddy Bear. Riley, we have to hurry, said Ryan. And they began to run to home as fast as their legs would go. By now their hair, clothing, and the paper bag carrying the eggs were soaking wet. And without Riley knowing, Mr. Teddy slips out of Riley's hands and falls into a puddle on the ground. But there was no stopping because the faster they ran, the more forcefully the rain would fall on them. Luckily, they could see their house getting closer. And without Ryan's knowledge, the eggs fell out from the bottom of the wet paper bag onto the ground. Keep running, we're almost there, said Ryan. And just as Ryan and Riley arrived safely inside the house, Riley realized Mr. Teddy the Teddy Bear was not in her hand. She had dropped Mr. Teddy the Teddy Bear somewhere back in the rain. Mr. Teddy's gone, she panicked. As Riley began to cry, she was sure Mr. Teddy the Teddy Bear was somewhere lying out in the rain crying too. Riley. As soon as I give mom her eggs, I'll go back out into the ring to find Mr. Teddy. 
Ryan sticks his hand down into the wet paper bag only to find a hole at the bottom of it. The eggs are gone! I dropped the eggs! He cried out. Now Mom won't have any eggs. We'll have no chocolate chip cookies and I don't have my Mr. Teddy! Riley cries out. That night, Ryan and Riley sat in front of the window watching the rain fill the sky as their eyes filled with tears. Mr. Teddy, and bring him home to me safely. Amen, Riley whispers. The next morning, Ryan and Riley were awakened by the sound of barking in front of their house. They rush out of bed and to the front door, only to find the little lost puppy had brought Mr. Teddy the teddy bear home. Mr. Teddy! Mr. Teddy! How did you find our home, little lost puppy? Ryan asked. The little lost puppy just jumped up and down and ran in circles as if he was trying to thank Ryan and Riley for rescuing him to safety. And maybe bringing Mr. Teddy the teddy bear home was his way of returning the favor. Children, I went to the market to get more eggs while you were asleep. How would you like to taste these fresh chocolate chip cookies I made? Oh boy! Chocolate chip cookies are Mr. Teddy's and my favorite! So you are not upset with me, Mom? Asked Ryan. Why would I be upset, honey? Mistakes happen. What matters is you learn from your mistakes. Oh, what a cute little puppy. Does he have a home, said Mother. No, Mom. So can we keep him, asked Ryan. Well, if he doesn't have a home, sure, you can keep him, Ryan, said Mom. So at the end of a rainy and adventurous journey, everyone got what they wanted. Mother got her eggs. They both got their chocolate chip cookies. Ryan got a puppy. And the little lost puppy found himself a home. And best of all, Riley's Mr. Teddy the Teddy Bear is home again. The end. The lyrics and vocals for The Adventures of Ryan and Riley and Mr. Teddy the Teddy Bear are by author Stephanie D. Singleton and were recorded at ES Recording Studios in Burbank, California. For more information about The Adventures of Ryan and Riley and Mr. Teddy the Teddy Bear or to purchase a paperback edition, visit Amazon.com forward slash author forward slash Step D. Singleton. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. We can't wait to meet you. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. This is how we greet you. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Won't you come in and play? Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. It's a Ryan and a Riley and Mr. Teddy Bear day. Hey, 
Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. We can't wait to meet you. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. This is how we greet you. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Won't you come and play? Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. It's a Ryan and a Riley, Mr. Teddy Bear Day. It's a Ryan and a Riley, Mr. Teddy Bear Day. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. We can't wait to meet you. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. This is how we greet you. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Won't you come in and play? Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. It's a Ryan and a Riley, Mr. Teddy Bear Day. It's a Ryan and a Riley, Mr. Teddy Bear Day. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. We can't wait to meet you. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. This is how we greet you. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. Won't you come in and play? Hey, Mr. Teddy Bear. It's Orion and Riley, Mr. Teddy Bear Day.